This international law case is an important authority regarding the recognition of a new country. How do we know when a new nation has been formed, whether by separating from a former nation or expanding its territory or by a revolutionary change of government? In this case, a British company had invested in a Russian sawmilling operation, which prepared plyboards and veneers and sent them to the UK. After the Russian Revolution in 1917, though, many businesses were nationalised or basically stolen by the new Soviet government. The sawmilling operation was among them. In 1920, a trade delegation arrived in the United Kingdom from Soviet Russia. They received a very limited authority from the British Foreign Office, which concluded, His Majesty's Government have never officially recognised the Soviet government in any way. The trade delegation sold Sagor and Company a shipment of wood from the Russian sawmilling operation mentioned a few moments ago. The British company, who had invested in that sawmill and who owned the wood, which was then nationalised or stolen by the Soviets, sued to recover their goods in the tort of conversion. Clearly, a sovereign government can compel its citizens to hand over their possessions. I mean, this is essentially the nature of tax. But only a sovereign government can do this. If anyone else tries, they're just robbers. So if the Soviet government was legitimate, then this would belong to them, and they could sell it to whomever they pleased. But if the Soviet government was illegitimate, then the wood was merely stolen. Justice Roche found, if a foreign government is recognised by the government of this country, the courts of this country may and must recognise the sovereignty of that foreign government and the validity of its acts. Justice Roche was using the word government in a very particular way to mean the executive arm of government. So it was up to the Prime Minister and the Foreign Minister to decide whether Britain recognised Soviet Russia. And they did not, so the wood was merely stolen and the true owners were entitled to a remedy. From this case, we learn that government legitimacy comes from a government being recognised by other nations. No government can just declare itself to be legitimate. And it is the executive government, not the legislature or the judiciary, that determines whether to recognise the legitimacy of a new state. Mm -hmm.